This is part three of the 144 Bandai Millennium Falcon build from The Force Awakens. Uh, I just wanted to show you real quick uh, the, the primer. Everything is primered in, in the standard light gray that I use, Vallejo. And then the mix that I've been using, I use for my pre-shade. I just wanted to show you real quick because the other piece is really small and it's hard to see the, the contrast in the colors on a, on a pre-shade. So this is the top and the bottom of the hole uh, pre-shading and so now I'm going to go ahead and put the, uh, the main base color on all the parts. All right, I've got the base color on all the pieces. Also want to remind you, don't forget to do the inside lips because once you put the, the side walls in there is some of this lip on the outside showing so you'll definitely want to paint that also so now I can move on to masking off some of the panel colors doing the, <clears throat> the first color that train color red I used Tamiya tape what I have is an 18 millimeter and a 10 millimeter. I've tried other tapes and nothing compares. I mean, to me it's a little more expensive, but it's definitely worth it as far as getting good crisp lines and not peeling up your paint. And then of course I just use a regular blue painter's tape to uh, cover the rest of the area after wiping it on my shirt or my pants four or five times to get most of the sticky off. So now I'm going to take the masking off of both the top and the bottom hole and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Yeah, I got all the the red on there. Now I can move on and mask off the gray sections and then spray those. Okay, I finished spraying the, the gray panels there are two yellow panels that are on the bottom of the hole that I need to mask off and spray for those. They're kind of a kind of an ochre color, uh, but I'm going to do that and then I'll come back. Okay, I've got all the panels done. There's only two yellow panels that are on the bottom of the hole here. So now that I've got them all painted, now I'm going to take my Exacto. I'm going to use the back of the blade and using my reference I'm going to go in and start scratching some of the paint off of the panels and stuff where I see scratches. Working on the back of the engine here you can see these scratches and all I've done is taken the back of my X-Acto and I'm just I'm just I'm scratching it that's what I'm doing I'm, I'm scratching it so that the, the paint comes off and it's okay you go down to the plastic because the plastic is white so it's it's going to look correct when you do it that way now these dark panels here what I'm doing is I'm just using my pencil and I'm just coloring it in and then I'm taking my little artist stump here and I'm just kind of smoothing it out so I'm going to continue working on all of this starting the washes I use my standard Vallejo black wash one drop to ten drops of water this is just one of those paint palettes you can get at any hobby store or Amazon or eBay an old Tupperware container that happens to, happens to fit in the middle here and a paper towel and then my thin brush which I can't remember the size because all the writings rubbed off so let's start doing the washes all washes being liquid will work on a capillary action. So I get some in my brush and then I just start filling in where the lines are, edges, stuff like that, a um, little circle, things like this. So it helps separate the the color and gives you contrast. Now this is not sealed. A lot of people do seal, especially if they're doing oil. But oil takes a long time to dry. I try to stick to 
to water base because it's quicker. Then I just go through and hit all the edges of the pipe. And since the Falcon is a dirty ship, you're not really going to mess this up too, too much. Once I get all the washes done on the top and the bottom, then I will seal it. And I'll probably just use a, a rattle can to seal it with some dull coat and then I can work on the pastels. I have seen a lot of people just seal it and then they'll just do a real big wash and just cover the entire thing but I need a little more control than that which is probably why it takes me longer to finish models <laughs> but to me my background is graphic design and illustration I did that for about almost 30 years so I'm real picky and I pay a lot of attention to detail because the devil is in the details I've got all the washes on so now I'm going to let the washes completely dry and then I will seal it and then we'll move on to the pastels alright I'm going to do some pastels and I'm also going to uh, do those five uh, blast holes that are on this section of the hull right here by where the the radar dish goes so I'm gonna get set up and then I'll come back and show you how I'm gonna do this I marked off using my reference I I guesstimated where these um, blast marks are and this pencil circle is about how big I want the divot to go and then I went in and I marked just with a sharpie the center of that I took this little micro drill bit which I have no idea what the size is because it's not marked but I took it and I, I drilled out the little spot there where I had my um, marker mark now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this drill bit which I believe is an eighth drill bit and I'm going to drill just a little bit more from that pilot hole just on the big ones where the big is because there's a little bitty one right here and then there's another little bitty one right here so I'm going to drill that out a little bit and then I'll probably use the Dremel to, uh, to kind of rough it up and, and do the other circles so let me do that and I'll show you what it looks like okay I got my little holes done and the bigger holes get my little divots and what I have here is I have my Dremel <clears throat> I've showed this before um, I got it off of Amazon you can there's several brands and stuff like that you can just go look and research and then pick out what what you want so what I'm starting with is this tip focus there we go is this tip and all I'm gonna do at a low speed I'm, I'm just gonna start the center and I'm just gonna kind of rough it out just getting some grooves in there do this so it doesn't look completely symmetrical it doesn't look like just a perfect circle like the like the drill bit will give you. Okay, now let me uh, change bits and I'll come back and show you that. Now I've got a pointy bit on there and I'm going to do the exact same thing I just did, just roughing it up.
right now I'm gonna have to put some something in there to darken it up probably some pastel so I can see just kind of how rough it looks so let me do that and I'll be back what I've got is my one of my uh, old brushes that I cut the tip off of and I'm using a gray pastel and all I'm doing is I'm just digging down into this into this groove because I need to see how rough it looks in there and if I'm getting close to what I'm trying to achieve so I'll get down in there into that little divot so you can see it kind of separating from the hole so it's starting to look like blast marks so I'm going to fiddle with this and then I'll come back and show you I've got the blast holes pretty much where I want them I mean I may um, lighten them up once I get the the rest of the streaking and stuff on on the hole once I get all that together and tweak some things here and there so now I want to work on in this same area I'm going to work on some of these these streaks so let me get set up for that and then I'll come back and show you how I do that I'm using the gray pastels what I did was I took I took a peek of piece of post-it the sticky parts up here and I just cut me a line so what I'm doing is I'm just placing it on the hole and then stroking down it just just enough to give me a good crisp line to start with so I, as you can see I've done these four and then what I'll do is I'll take that same gray on, on this brush and then I'll, I'll go in and I'll, I'll kind of feather out the top there because this is this is where the moisture or whatever is going to um, build up and then as it flows down it's going to go to a straighter line so just kind of feather it out there at the top and then you get a real nice crisp streak line So I'm going to do some more of these and then I'll come back and, and show you the progress. You can see how it's slowly building up and you're starting to get that, that uh, weathered texture look that we all love so much about the Millennium Falcon. Look at my reference, I did notice I missed a, a red spot right here that I'm going to have to go in and, and put that in. Um, but I'm gonna the same techniques are going I'm gonna use throughout the whole top of the hole and the bottom there are some more like I said scar marks and stuff like that on the hole which I'm gonna do the same technique with but since it was so long uh, with the holidays and everything and doing a video I'm gonna cut this video here and then when I come back for part four I'm gonna be concentrating on the engine lighting and also uh, the cockpit. Like I said, I'm going to try to light some of the cockpit. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to do, but I'm, I'm definitely going to give it a try, and there's definitely going to be some lights in there. So, as always, thank you guys for watching, and thank you guys for subscribing, and I will see you guys for part four.